How to integrate external user databases to manage user accounts. Prerequisites. An AD or LDAP server has been installed and correctly configured. The AD or LDAP server can communicate with iMaster NCE campus. You have obtained the information about the AD or LDAP server from the AD or LDAP server provider. Use the AD Explorer tool to obtain the AD or LDAP server information. Configuration Procedure Create a user group on iMaster NCE Campus. Configure remote authentication. Log in to NCE Campus as an AD or LDAP user. Function Description User authentication modes includes local authentication and remote authentication. If remote authentication is enabled, the local system can interconnect with a third-party system to implement authentication, authorization, and accounting, that is, AAA. After the interconnection is complete, users are remotely authenticated by the third-party system instead of the local system. In remote authentication, users are authenticated by a remote AAA server through AAA protocols. Currently, the ON plane supports lightweight directory access protocol, that is, LDAP, and remote authentication dial-in user service, that is, RADIUS, for AAA authentication. LDAP is a lightweight directory access protocol. It supports multiple authentication modes. The system authenticates users based on their usernames and passwords, or in transport layer security mode, that is, TLS mode, users can configure login information on an LDAP server and user authentication is performed by the LDAP server during login. Application Scenarios Login information is saved on an AD or LDAP server. It is required that iMaster NCE Campus interconnect with the AD or LDAP server. After the interconnection is successful, users are remotely authenticated by the AD or LDAP server during login. Procedure Step 1. Create a user group on iMaster NCE Campus. 1. Log in to iMaster NCE Campus as a tenant administrator. Choose System, User Management, User Management from the main menu. On the User Group tab page, click Create and create a user group based on the user information. 2. Create the Market User Group. Set User Group Name to market and click next. Three, select roles and click next. Four, select the objects to be managed by the user group based on the network plan and click okay. Five, verify that the user group is created. Step two, configure remote authentication. One, log in to iMaster NCE campus as a tenant administrator choose System, System Settings, Authentication from the main menu. Choose Remote Authentication from the Navigation pane and then click LDAP Authentication. On the displayed page, set basic information based on the data plan. Set Master Server Address Type to IPv4. Set Master Server Address to 10.44.25.165. Set master server port to 389. Toggle off enable TLS. 2. Configure server information. Three, configure user attributes. Four, configure user group attributes.
5. Configure mapping between users and user groups. Select User Remotely Stored Bindings. Create and specify remote and local user groups. 6. Click Test. Enter the username and password of the server administrator and click OK. Wait until a message indicating that the test is successful is displayed. 7. Click Apply. The system displays a message indicating that the operation is successful. Verifying the configuration. Step 1. Log in to the NCE campus as an AD or LDAP user. 1. Access the NCE campus service plane. Enter the tenant administrator's username and password and click Log In. 2. Check whether you have been granted with permission specified by the user role and whether you can configure services for managed objects as expected. 3. Choose System, User Management, User Management from the main menu. Click the User tab and verify that the user status is normal and the login status is online.